All right, uh, welcome to another video, and I'm going to show you as quickly as I can here how to do something that I think is absolutely amazing and awesome. I'm going to show you how to share your screen over the internet, and all your client has to do is go to a web page, right? They don't have to install anything or download anything or set anything up. They just happen to open up their browser, and you can do a screen share, or you can do a remote desktop. It's basically VNC. If you don't know what VNC is, VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. Uh, it's basically, if you know what remote desktop is, uh, the reason why it's not called remote desktop is because uh, remote desktop is kind of more of a Microsoft term. Uh, technically, Microsoft pioneered what is known as RDP, which is remote desktop protocol. And it's, uh, well, it's a protocol. Anyway, so VNC is an alternative to that, but it's the same idea. You basically control a remote computer. Um, Personally, I think remote desktop is a little nicer, but whatever. The VNC is very versatile, and lots of operating systems are compatible with it. So what we have here is a little Linux box with Debian uh, 9 on it. So now what we're going to do here is I've got a program called Deconf, right? So we're going to start off with Deconf. So Deconf. There, right? See? Just like that. Um, and we're going to come here to where it says... Uh, hold on. There we go. We're going to come here to where it says org, gnome, desktop, remote access, require encryption. I'm going to turn that to off. And you don't have to turn this to off, but trust me, you'll have a lot of problems if you leave it on. Uh, so now what we're, that's the, one of the things that we're going to do. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to enable VNC sharing. Sharing. So we're going to enable VNC sharing. All right. So we're going to come here. We've got uh, screen sharing active. Right, screen share. Uh, you have a choice here. You can require a password, or new connections must ask ask for access. And what that means is, when somebody tries to access this, like you, um, there's going to be a little drop down. It'll come down here, and you'll have to click that to allow them to access the screen. Right, and allow connections to control the screen. So we can allow that, or we can force them to just look at it. Um, I generally just have them look at it because I just want to show them my screen. And this is not necessarily the best method, but like I said, if you have somebody who's a technophobe and they absolutely do not want to set anything up and they don't have any of the stuff that you're using, this is, this is nice because you know, as long as they have access to the internet, they can look at your screen. All right, so I'm going to get out of this. So now we're going to go into... Uh, all right. For no VNC, we're going to come here to wherever it is you want to install it. Now, I have it installed over here uh, in OPT on my root directory. Uh, and you're going to open up a terminal here. And let's say we want to install no VNC here. What we do is we just download it from GitHub. So we come here. Um, we have git clone and git, right? And I'll put this in the description box so if you want you can just type that out if you don't have if you type this out and it doesn't work that means you have to install git which is really simple Eight, install git oops hold on ah there we go if the command doesn't work right but in my case i already have it installed so instead you would just type out this this whole deal right here git clone git colon slash slash git pub.com slash uh, slash no dnc right no, no dnc right so anyway uh i already have it installed but that's all it does is it just downloads it onto your directory so go back here to our directory no bnc right and then we're this is uh this is it this is what we were looking for we're going to go into utils Let's see All right, now that we have this, um, and I'm just good. I, I always run this as root. I don't know if you have to. I think you do have to. Um, I always do run it as root. Anyway, so now the next step here, we've turned off encryption. Um, right, we've gone here and turned encryption off. Uh, otherwise, like I said, you will have issues. I mean, you can run it with encryption on, but I've always had issues. Uh, 
let's see, there's another option here. If you want to, you can have a, uh, if you want to run it with encryption, you'll need a self-signed certificate. And I have that right here. That by default, it looks for something called self.pem. If you want to change that, you can, but you'll need to go into the launch and um, do, 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 do. You'll need to go into the launch and edit the configuration there. So you can see right here. Uh, so uh, anyway, we have a couple of options here. Um, we can specify what port to listen on or the host name port. We can specify the certificate we want it to use. A uh, path to the combined cert key file default is self.pem, right? Anyway, so that's what we have there. And SSL, SSL only disable non-HTTPS connections. We can do that if we want to. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to fire this thing up. And uh, let's, yeah, I think, I think I've got everything. There we go. So we've got this thing all set up. So now what I'm going to do is... Get this out of the way. We're going to look at this on my host computer now. All right, so now we're on the host computer. I'm going to refresh this. Uh, now I'm going to refresh this page here. And you'll notice here it says the connection was reset. It doesn't, it's not working. And that's because I said SSL only. But unfortunately, it will not redirect you automatically if you don't, you don't type in HTTPS. So HTTPS colon slash slash. There we go. So now it's working. Can come here. Uh, we can specify local scaling if we want, right? Local downscaling, advanced, uh, web sockets, encryption, local cursor, shared mode, view only. Anyway, and we can have, um, you can even full screen it too if we want. All right, there we go. Full screen and then connect. And hold on. There we go. That's how that works. Um, oh, you didn't see the uh, confirmation dialog, did you? Okay, well, look, when you try to connect the way I did, right, I'm here to screen sharing, uh, new connections must ask for access. There's a little pop-up that comes down from the top here, and it says, hey, do you want to allow this new connection? And you just click accept. You have the choice of accept or reject. Anyway, I just click accept. And then you just click accept, and then it'll log on. And uh, anyway, yeah. So again, to reemphasize what we've got here. Okay, come on. Where, where is the mouse? There we go. Uh, we're just using Firefox, and we've got a little web page up here, right? That's all it is. It's just a web page, and with that, we've got VNC. And so, again, if you want to share this to some device that can't install special software or can't handle a lot of web browsers um, but has some kind of basic web browser, there you go. This is it. This is VNC. And if you wanted to, you can control your computer from here. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's actually um, try that. Let's allow that. All right. Let's come here to settings. Let's go to take that off. All right. Disconnected. Oh, there we go. Keep forgetting to accept. All right. So let me move my mouse over here can i control yes yep so there you go i can control this right i can come over here full screen and i can make changes work on stuff right i can work on stuff go over here go over here no oh yeah we we, we got important work to do you know Ah, da, 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 da. I don't know. Hold on. Shortcut keys aren't seem to be working. 
very well. Yeah, yeah, they're not working very well. No. Ah, I don't even know what's going on here. What what in the world is that? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I appear to have opened up the magnifying glass on my other screen. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm done with this. All right. Um, you get it. You got the point. Okay, hold on. I need to... Uh, let me get my computer back. Okay. Um, yeah, we could do work over here. Like I was saying, where's my mouse? Oh, my God. I'm the most incompetent. I'm I'm so sorry that I'm so incompetent. Uh, where is I don't even know where my mouse is now. There we go. All right. Dash. All right. So if I wanted to, yeah. There we go. <sighs> point is um it works and it works wonderfully and beautifully and just yeah there we go there there's the oh man hold on you only scaling mode local cursor what happens when i all right it it works okay it, you saw it it worked okay I'm done. I'm just, I'm so done. Anyway, have fun. Um, and definitely, if you are want to do this for a screen share, I mean, heck, if I wanted to do a screen share and if I was just hanging out with some random ass people in like a Discord or something like that, this would probably be how I do it. Because that way they don't have to add me on anything. They don't have to, you know, be my friend on anything and they can just view my screen and I can have it encrypted and uh, set it to view only. So maybe they, you know, they can't um, do anything. Anyway, there we go. Guten Tag. See you in the next video.